Good morning. This is Dan Earhart with the rest of the news, where every Tuesday is super. To wit, Facebook posting today notes that since the Mayan calendar doesn't account for leap year, the world should have already ended. But here we are on Facebook, and nobody seems to want timeline. Now there's a big fat white on black meme reading, we hate the timeline, sharing around. The president now has timeline on his page, featuring an image of a coffee mug made with his long form birth certificate on it. Those are for sale, by the way. Chief U.S. District Judge Richard F. Siebel in Montana must be real happy that the whole Rush Limbaugh scandal is occupying so much attention right now. Otherwise, there would be a brighter media spotlight on him. The George W. Bush appointee has written a letter of apology to President Obama for an email he forwarded to other chief justices that includes what he considered to be a joke that goes, a little boy said to his mother, Mommy, how come I'm black and you're white? His mother replied, Don't even go there, Barack. From what I could remember about that party, you're lucky you don't bark. Pretty funny, huh? Uh, the New York Times editorializes this morning that Siebel should resign. The Washington Post this morning editorializes that with the exception of Ron Paul, Every one of the Republican presidential contenders are scared pointless by Rush Limbaugh, asking, these guys want us to believe they're ready to face down Vladimir Putin, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, Kim Jong-un, the Taliban, and Al-Qaeda, yet they're scared of a talk radio buffoon. Ron Paul said Sunday that he didn't think Limbaugh was very apologetic, only concerned about losing sponsors, the number of which is now nine. The first radio station to drop his show is KPUA 670 in Hilo on the Big Island. It's important to note that conservative commentators are pointing the finger at Bill Maher and Ed Schultz, accusing them of misogynistic statements made about Michelle Bachman, Ann Coulter, and Sarah Palin. The 2012 European Car of the Year has been announced, and the winner is the Chevrolet Volt. Well, it's not flying out of the showrooms, so GM has shut down the factory for five weeks. Maybe it'll catch on, but some analysts think that Tesla Roadster at 50000 is a better buy. One thing remains true. Americans still dream of driving across the country. Road trip! A quarter of men and a third of women say they have never made the cross-country trip and want to. There was a fire last night at a famous old Hollywood recording studio at 1041 North Orange Drive near Santa Monica Boulevard. Firefighters saved 85% of the historic studio, which may have been a recording studio since the 20s, but 30s for sure. Nat King Cole, The Beach Boys, Elvis, Bing Crosby, Thurston Harris, Little Bitty Pretty One, Pat Boone, Love Letters in the Sand, and April Love. New album from The Boss is out, Wrecking Ball, from Bruce Springsteen on Columbia. You can listen to the whole album today only at brucespringsteen.net. Bruce will give the keynote speech and do a concert with the E Street Band next week, Thursday, March 15th, to kick off South by Southwest. The Eurovision Song Contest will be held two big days, May 22nd and 24th, in Baku, Azerbaijan. It's a big deal, with a TV audience of 100 million, although no one admits to watching it. The English entry to Eurovision is Engelbert Humperdinck, who has sold 150 million albums, although no one admits to owning one. Have an absolutely super Tuesday. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow for the rest of the news. This is Dan Earhart.